we'd like to roll to Dr. Fraser's uh, Ask the Doctor segment, so we'll be right back and maybe we can talk about that. Today we're going to be talking about headaches. Now this is a problem that affects all of us, and I often talk about migraine headaches, but Dr. Fraser, you're saying there are three categories of headaches? Yeah, Dr. Lockhart, there's uh, three, the three most common categories of headaches are migraine, tension headache, and sinus headache. Mm -hmm. And what do you do to differentiate? Well, uh, medically, I guess there's research indicates that you know there's probably 40 to 50 different versions of migraines, 40 to 50 different versions of tension. I mean, so there's all these big little or little subclasses within each one of those big categories. Uh -huh. But usually, the migraine headaches are you know have a debilitating component to your vision, uh, your taste or your sensory taste get goofed up, hearing possibly. You tend to want to go to dark, cold places. You tend to not want a lot of noise around you. No Commotion, way. things like that tend to get you. Okay. That's more the classic. Sometimes there's the visual disturbances that affect your eyes. And when they get really bad, I know I become nauseous. Nauseous, vomiting, uh, shutting down. Most people just want to curl up in a corner and just die. It's, mm -hmm. it's many times the, the symptoms that they talk about during a migraine headache. Now what about sinus? Well, uh, the, the second most common headache is tension headache. Tension headache. Tension headache, and usually the tension headache is where you have all the pain mm -hmm. from the top of the shoulders, it goes into the neck, and just people just feel locked down all the yeah, time. Your muscles a lot of tight. computer use, phone use, different things like that. The muscles mm -hmm. just stay tight, and they get a nagging headache that just doesn't ever go away. Okay. That's and then so from there, there's a lot of structural and a lot of uh, uh, musculoskeletal components that affect the tension headache. Also, a lot of people that do a lot of working out, bodybuilding, they get the larger traps, they get the different muscles. Uh, a lot of people that do sports and have sports injuries get their joints out of place and get things locked down. They'll develop the tension, the tension headaches from the same type of thing from the musculature tightening up or, or having an injury on top of that. And then but okay. but the only time I notice I get headaches is when I don't eat properly or I don't sleep properly. Yeah, and then, then there's just the good old classic headache, which is you just get a headache and you really can't associate it with any specific thing. Uh, not eating properly, dehydration, or not getting enough of your nutrition in a balanced format, and definitely sleep, fatigue, exhaustion, those also do headaches. One of the most common things that if you look at and you read the side effects of medications, mm -hmm. what are the two things that almost all of them list? Dry mouth and headache. Mm -hmm. Well, dry mouth because it dehydrates the body systems internally, but, but also headaches because a headache is one of your first signs, whether it's the migraine, the tension, or the sinus, that your body's hurting. Mm -hmm. And then there's a major mm -hmm. illness or irritation or something affecting your nervous system, which is a master control system for your whole body. Sinus headaches, uh, I know that's one of the, the things that also a lot of people get plagued about that um, have had a history of, you know, all kinds of illnesses that tend to get a lot of sinus headaches. And they tend to stay a long time. Mm -hmm. So they'll be on two or three courses of antibiotics, which doesn't promote health. Uh, but the sinus headaches will build up in the sinus areas, either below the eyes, above the eyes, or sometimes deeper back into the face or into the ethmoid sinuses. Uh, the sinus headaches put pressure into the cranial areas mm -hmm. and into the base of the, the, the cranial system, so it affects the neck as well. Those can be treated through chiropractic adjustments, acupuncture type care, um, as well as you want to get on some very proper herbs to get rid of the bacteria of the virus. So those are more chronic. Those chronic are, the, usually they tend to go more chronic after there's other health conditions involved. Okay. But one of the most important things about the Ask the Doctor section that we want everybody to know is that migraine and tension headaches and sinus headaches and just your classic headache from ill health, you don't have to put up with them. And a headache is not a Tylenol or aspirin deficiency. Um, not to you know say that they don't help or they don't give relief, but they're not necessarily the fix. Okay, the in other words, they may help just temper, get you like through a band-aid. Like it's a band-aid band -aid. Band -aid to get you through the moment. Okay, but they're not going to be the cure. They're not going to be the cure. Okay. All the research out there and all the clinical and statistical data Basically, with all three of the types of headaches, one of the most critical areas that we need to treat is the base of the occiput area, the upper part of the neck, because as the brain stem and the occiput and the skull sit on the neck, there are so many nerves that go up and in and down and through from the head mm -hmm. to the neck and back and forth. That's why most migraine headaches are triggered by a tension from the shoulders oh, and neck. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of medications and different things people have tried to use or theories, but the simplest, most effective way to treat all three headaches in a natural form without drugs or surgery is to get the upper spine adjusted to keep the spine, the upper back, the neck in, and then also our cranium, our head bones. Because if we don't have our cranium in, our head aches, mm -hmm. and our cranium, our skull bones protect our head. Dehydration, nutrition, whatever those are, it affects our cranium. So cranial work, cranial adjusting, also there's very wonderful herbs and nutrition to relax the tension out of our joints, our muscles, 
Um, some of the most common ones are valerian, magnesium, making sure you get your minerals in there. There's lots of wonderful things you can do, not just take the pharmaceuticals or the medications. I would think things that we can do as far as massage would be really good too. Massage, exercise, stretching, chiropractic, acupuncture, uh, meditation. There's lots Even of incorporating the wave into mm -hmm. people's mm -hmm. exercise program where they teach people how to relax, that releases that tension. Relaxation therapies to help take the tension out of the body. Other than the, the sinus one, most all headaches start with some level of tension building or a toxicity issue. And that's why we talk about toxins, that's a whole other uh, component, but a headache is many times a side effect of toxin buildup. So we may not be rid of headaches, we may expect someday to get a headache. Right. But now we have an idea of what to do when we get a headache other than just Options. take a pill. Options, yes. Okay. One of the most important things too when you get a headache is realize your body's trying to talk to you. Good. You need to get information, you need to understand why it's trying to talk to you. Not to say, oh it just must be a little bit of stress and take a, a, a simple band-aid type remedy. Or, or to take it and just keep going. Or, or to put up with it and keep going, yeah. exactly.